Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mincy ladies. Uh, checking in with you today. Gosh, I feel like we're getting later and later. Been a very overwhelming week for us, and uh, I hope you guys have been handling it okay out there. Uh, so a couple of things. First of all, I just wanted to get some amazing housekeeping out of the way. It's always so lovely when we get sent little treats, and I just have to give a shout out to um, Janine, who, has a, who works for an amazing company that is responsible. Can you see my hair, ladies? Um, it's got like a little rosy coloured pinky tinge into it, in it. Um, now this is just like a washout shampoo and I actually bumped into this lady at one of our retailers and I said, oh my gosh, I love the colour of your hair. And she said, she was actually wearing Creed and her mink shoes and she said, well I love your, um, I love your shoes and things. So we had a mutual love for each other. So I'm just going to show you um, what it is that she sent me because I know you'll probably ask me. So it's a beautiful hair care brand called NAC. Uh, N-A-K, and the colour that I've put in is a rose blonde shampoo, and so I put that in this morning, my hair was very, very, you know, that blondy white sort of colour, and it's got that, just that little hint of pinky shade to it, I think you can build it up, so I'm going to have a play with it anyway, but it does wash out if you don't like it and it's not your thing, and I do think we have got other colours, anyway, thank you Janine, i uh, loving having a play with it, um, and I always get asked about my hair, so just a big shout out to you. Um, uh, right, should we talk up some new shoes, ladies? Okay, actually, what is the name of these before I start talking about Exposed. Them? Exposed, okay. Brand new style coming in. You know how I like the grungy grungies. So this is it here, style exposed. Uh, it's a little cropped uh, ankle booty uh, with a difference. Beautiful soft rubber sole, nice and grungy, and that kind of exposed zipper on the outside there. So I've just grabbed the samples actually because the new stock's just arrived in. Um, so these have had a little bit of a bash around already. Now I would recommend wearing like a wide leg pant with this kind of um, st style of boot. Uh, equally, if you had like a little skinny legging on, I think they would look quite gorgeous as well. You'd see obviously more impact of the booty kind of thing. I will show you someone who's holding the camera right now who is rocking that sole really, really well with that trans-seasonal look. So Lisa's on the camera um, and she has got a similar style of boot. This is called Motion in the black patent. Now, this was a huge hit for us last winter and we've bought it back again this winter because so many ladies missed out on it. So... Uh, if you missed out, uh, you can hop online or pop into your local retailer and grab a pair. So again, this is a very, very cool little look that Lisa's got on. She's got her um, Hayworth pants from this summer collection, which you can see are transing into autumn quite nicely. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so she's got her pink pants on. She's got her little Rita top, which matches on underneath that. And then she's layered up and has like tied on a sort of a bit of a jaunty angle, um, the halter neck tabard, which again, it was a huge seller for us last winter. And we are going to be bringing it back out again this winter. Look at that. That's so cute. Uh, so that is what Lisa's rocking. I'm just going to grab the girls from the office. Who wants to roll in first? Uh, should we show you Annie? Annie's at the ready. Annie's had a stonking week this week, sending out all of her, uh, all of her orders to her retailers. So Annie's got. Oh, you're so tall. I need to like. I need to probably stand on a chair to chat with you. Uh, so Annie's got her beautiful waterfall dress on in the ink blue, and she has teamed that back with the um, the gorgeous Victorist and the Rust suede. So really really beautiful um i think we sold a pair this morning to a lady that came in she just was wearing black and white so you know if you're ever worried about how you wear colorful shoes back with an outfit just slap on some black and white and you'll be able to get away with it but also um we love navy and we love the navy and rust together so um so that's quite a good combo thanks annie no for sharing that with the ladies uh nay oh, stop yeah. tapping and come yeah. out and show the girls yeah. what you are I wearing i have one request just oh, yeah. so i don't forget yeah from anita <laughs> yeah who would like us to profile the jesse red short yes. um advise on how the wedge feels and how it's supported and um and the tell me boot how high is the heel okay so jesse right. short and okay. tell me all righty yeah. 
That's not do that. right. Anyway. I'm going yeah. to get Lise to try on the Jessie boot, and we'll and yeah. so we're not holding her on out. So, oh look, look at Renee. She's so cute today. Oh, she's always cute every day, but she's she's wearing her lovely uh, Verona dress, which actually we could just yeah we could slipstream to the. We're going to give you sneaky sneaky. So that's the winter version of the Verona dress. Isn't that gorgeous? It's got side pockets in it. Obviously for winter we put a longer sleeve, and then we'll spin it around and show you that amazing detail and through the back. So. Your retailers are only just seeing this collection because it's so super late uh, for the winter clothing and we will feed you out some more uh, items over the weekend for some feedback um, but you're just going to have to wait probably till May to get a dress like that unfortunately. Uh, anyway so look at these, look what she's got on. These are so, so ridiculously cute. This is a boot called the Gravity Boot. So um, it's got loads of layer of texture and interest in this style. So let's start with the inside zipper. That is actually how you get in and out of this boot. You can adjust the lacing for insteps and things like that. Or we're getting lots of love its and love hearts. Um, the outside sole on this, if I get you to turn side on for the ladies, Nay, is rubber. So when Nay flexes her foot, you can just see how easily that bends um, and through the back you've got that gorgeous little metal plate uh, detail and through the back there with the little um, dimples on it you've got all those sort of eyelets on the back heel counted there which give a bit of grunge and detail our minx branding on it um, so the combination of leather is a beautiful black milled leather so you in that milled leather you get that pebbling sort of detail and through there uh, and then in through that sort of back heel counter area, it's just a black, um, a black high shine leather. So it's just got a little bit of shine to it. And going across the foot, you can see that strap going, with, that's just elastic lady. So it's just a real kind of edgy design feature of the boot. Um, you don't necessarily kind of really feel that on in any way. Uh, going up, you've got the laces up through the front and then just to snip it in at the ankle, um, we've got that little bit of elastic gusset in through the top there as well with those sort of um, rivety details. Well, oh, I love the it. Other that, uh, yeah, so, have. yep, Nay's going to go and get the other colours as she the walks meantime, away. Um, oh, three. so... Anita was asking about the Tell Me boot and she wanted to know the heel height on it. So we're just giving you there that that is a sort the of a exact six. Heel the height. exact heel height, which is six. I'm going to call it as sort of six and a half nearly centimeters yeah. high. It's a super manageable height. Yeah. Uh, plus, ladies, you've got like on the front of that um, a sort of a one centimeter. Oh, sorry. On the on the. Uh, uh, the front sole of that you've got a centimetre there so that kind of brings the heel down to probably about five centimetres in terms of height super wearable yeah so the sole is um has got uh, it's rubber so it's non-slip obviously and really really uh spongy and comfortable that there is the bone leather if you're wondering what the color is bone napper yeah, so um so lisa's just done a quick houdini out the back and changed into the um jesse short in the red microfiber so it's interesting we were just trying these uh, boots a moment ago and we felt and it could be kind of a strange weird thing but we felt that um the black microfiber had a, a fraction more stretch than the red microfiber um not sure why we're just trying to get to the bottom of that at the moment so the way to get into these is to fold them, fold the top line down um, so that it, it's, it's folded over like that and then uh, put it on like a little gusset boot and turn your foot into it and wiggle in. So we're, gonna, uh, we're saying here, so Lisa's about a 37 and a half to a 38. She's very comfortable in the size 37, did you decide? Yeah, it was the 37 she liked in that. Um, again, I'm just going to tell you some features about it. The sole on this has got like a little wedge on it and it's rubber and it's ridiculously soft and flexible um, which is really good when you look down on the toe line it has a, it's quite a sort of a linear kind of look to it so it's sort of like a it's not quite a point but it has sort of like a longer kind of um slim line look to it and then I've put, I've, we've got like a hand painted rand. So rand is the technical term for this little feature in the side of the boot here. And uh, having that pop out with a bit of white just gives it a bit of kind of sports luxe feel, a bit of kind of um, attitude and point of difference. So it looks a little bit more interesting and groovy. Uh, ladies, you can wear this with your um, long maxi dresses. You can wear them back with like um, a tr like wear them a trouser over the top of these. Um, how else would you wear them? Just um, yeah, our little dresses that are coming through for winter. They're going to look really pretty cute with that. Uh, 
Have you found a black tulle skirt? Yeah, black, oh, black tulle skirt. Yeah, we photographed it with the tulle skirts as well. Watch, there's a little pile behind there. Look at that. They're all going out to your retailers again, ladies. Um, yeah, so... Um, Nay was going to show the pewter. Oh, no, yeah, Renee was going to show the pewter. Oh, she's got it here for us. Oh. So the little gravity boot that Renee had on in the black just a moment ago, um, this is the pewter version of it. We have, like two pairs still available here but uh, there is a list of retailers that have these in stock you can clearly see a more defined look in the features of this boot when it's been colored out like this so you can see that this is all your beautiful milled leather in through here you've got a little bit of high shine read in through the back these beautiful little um matte black finished um little rivets on there you've got the minx branding um ribbon up through the back which is quite cool uh, although we did have someone say uh, one of our retailers uh, mischief shoes down in Wellington a customer come in yesterday that wasn't very keen on the white and the uh, in the black uh, in the on the black tape of this the branding and through here I know this doesn't sound very professional but if you totally fall in love with the boot this can easily be blacked out with simply a vivid marker I know that doesn't sound very professional um, but it, what it will do is it will just completely dull down the, the brightness of the white um, and, and just tone it down to so it just looks like a black, black on black minx branding tape through the back. I love the white. I think it's fun and it gives it the boot way more attitude and things. But I do understand if you're wanting it very tonal, um, that's what you can do to it. Uh, so um, to the ladies that are saying that they love this right now, we, do, yeah. we have our list of retailers that, who received it on the website because we only have two sizes. Yeah, is that right? This, one here. this is a 36. We probably have a 36 and a 42. I'm just going to yeah. call it. Um, and so, yeah, so this has uh, sold out here at our HQ. But, yeah, like we said, we, we definitely are going to be, uh, your retailers will definitely have delivery for this weekend, I'm pretty sure, right throughout the country. Um, do Can I just, I haven't talked to the girls about this, but Lise, can I just ask you about the Perla, uh, the, the, no, the Doctor Who Pearl boot? Yep. Has that come in? And that's online now too. So can we just um, grab grab those out for the like? I'm just doing a try on before they all disappear. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yes. So sneaky. Okay, cute. Those that. look cute. Look yeah. at this. Okay, so we've got which one? Which ones are this these? Are the, these the um, black nubuck? Yes. Black okay. nubuck. And if you see this leather lady, so we've got two versions of this leather. We've got the black napa, and this is the black. Greasy Nubuck. It's so, so. Oh, there she goes. Okay. Oh, yeah, sorry. I couldn't find them. I went to go and find them in a hurry. And because the girls have been so good at managing all the stock, I don't even know where anything is anymore. It's kind I of also crazy. think we might have some pink pearl ones. Yeah, we might have some pink pearl ones too. Hi, how are you? <laughs> We're doing a very late oh, live. One of our, our lovely models friend. from a previous live has just walked in the door. <laughs> She's going to try on the Wrath boot. Do you want to try on the Wrath boot for the ladies? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, hey, yeah. We can just do this boot. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, my gosh. I love the smell of opening a brand new box of booties. Uh, so this is the Doctor, Pearl, Doctor Who Pearl boot. Um, we released the Pink Pearl about two weeks ago, and it went nuts so crazy and sold out very, very quickly. Um, and this is the black oil version or black patent version that you have been waiting for. Yes. So that has just all now arrived into stock here. And also, uh, obviously, with all of our retailers as well. She is so pretty and so cute. Can you imagine that back with the chill skirts? I think they're going to look gorgeous. Uh, but also, rock it back with your jeans in winter, um, leggings in winter, maxi dresses. Um, kind of a, that grungy, docky kind of style, but toned right down with the pearls and giving it that feminine sort of finish. Uh, so yes, good news, they are in stock now uh, with your retailers. Yeah, that got sent out. And I think that's, is it? Um, so, Stephanie says, um, the tell, that's the tell me short Stephanie, the beautiful black boot you were talking about. Yes. Um, and yes, then... Uh, yeah. No, that's okay. Repertoire, if you're a, a repertoire um, shopper, repertoire have got full stocks of those in, which is pretty cool. Bridget says the Wrangler boot from yesterday, will that be a available yes it is available now it's online now i had to take a photo of that one this morning and white dress will it come back white dress is that this verona oh, dress verona dress in white um probably not yeah, at the moment in white um, but we, we have had lots of queries yeah we have had lots of queries we did talk about it 
Uh, we just were trying to get our head around a crisp white for winter. Um, we had a, I know we had a brief office chat about more of a vanilla -y kind of tone because there is this more kind of sort of, um, if I put this against the white, then you'll see the difference. Uh, so for example, um, yeah, yeah, that's the difference between a, a white and more that ivory sort of tone. And we felt that maybe that dress and sort of more of this ivory tone for winter might be slightly more appropriate. Um, yeah, so we didn't really kind of make up our mind on it. Yeah, um, she is, says in black, please. And this yeah. is the dress that's coming in in black for winter. Um, it's not available yet, though, ladies. So hold yeah. your horses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I don't know if you remember, we did a sneaky uh, when we did our photo shoot. I think at the beginning of the week in a beautiful mallard greeny sort of color. It's the most divine color in real life. You have to see it, ladies. You need to pop in and see it at your retailers. Um, of course, it's not going to be available until May. So. Um, but that is what it's going to look like. It's got that cool detail in through the back there and a, and a long sleeve for winter. Can I see the motion and ultra on one of you? I can't decide between the two of oh, them. Okay. Uh, well, what would you put on? That's exposed. Um, we'll get Celeste to put um, her motion book back on again. In the oh, ultra. And, and we might get, um, wanna, we might have to get Annie to. Yeah. Do you want to. Oh, just walk and talk while you're putting on your motion boots because the motion boots are a little bit, uh, they're a lace up. Yeah, and actually, there is one other style um, that's exposed boot, eh? Hey? No, no, that's this. Oh, that's ultra. Okay. Oh, I see. I've got the other one on. So you're right. Should I put the ultra on then? Oh, you're going to do one of each. Okay, you're right. So that there is the ultra. And that, this is the exposed boot here. So uh, key differences, although very similar, um, but actually there are some key differences in it. Oops, sorry ladies, sorry, I'm probably making you feel ridiculously seasick. Uh, so the exposed one has this exposed kind of chunky, grungy sort of zipper on it. Um, and the ultra boot uh, is slightly more refined finishing to it. So you've got the patent, obviously. You've got the grow grain binding, oops, sorry, grow grain binding around the top line. And a little suede back on it and the grow grain um, zipper pulley on it. Uh, so that's the difference between those two. So this is style ultra and that's style exposed. And then Lisa's got the motion, uh, had the motion on earlier. So we're just going to, I'm going to walk, we're going to walk out so I can show you. Uh, let's have a little look here. So these are the key differences here. That is the style um, uh, ultra. ultra. Oh God, I've confused myself now. Ultra. Uh, so it's, I guess it's kind of easier to get in and out of. It's a fraction shorter on the ankle. Um, and then if we switch a row across to the motion, uh, that's a full on lace up boot. So you've got like, yep, there we go. It laces up through the front and is a fraction higher in, uh, on, on the ankle. So if I get, yeah, if you go back to back, um, oops, we've got like a little tag. Sorry, ladies. So um, you've got the minx black on black tag on the motion running up the back there and they're just the suede back on that. And we'll just get you to turn around and face the camera front on with both of them. So actually they don't look that much higher, the motion boots, than the ultra boots on. No, yeah. not too much. Yeah. So, um, yeah, where can I get those? Oh, I can't read. Black like boots with zip from... Uh, black boots with zip. So the ones we're just talking about, if you hop onto our website, we have a list of all of the retailers that bought. Uh, you could look up the Ultra Boot, uh, U-L-T-R-A um, is the boot, and or the Exposed, E-X-P-O-S-E-D boot. Uh, the one that Lisa, the other boot that Lisa had on, which was that grungy one with the lace up the front is Motion, M-O-T-I-O-N. Um, on our website and that will link you through to all the retailers that had it or have it. Um, is that what she's referring to do you think Lise? Yeah I think possibly Doctor Who Pearl. Oh right sorry okay. 
adopted but a that's good because so the one with the pearls now we know it. so um so again if you're on our website put in dr dr space who w h o space pearl p e a r l and that will get, um, bring up the two colorways, the black and the pink pearl. Click on the colorway you like and it will list the retailers that have got delivery or should have delivery by this weekend of that boot. Um, so we've got Carla, you ladies are awesome. Just what I wanted to see. Oh, We're, oh, I've, we've answered that one. Um, have you got... Oh, sorry, I think Melanie misspelt, so I'm not really sure. Not knee high, please. Higher boots that aren't knee high, maybe, is what she's wondering. Oh, okay. Yeah, we do. We've got lots of options coming out this winter. More than we've had in a really long time, ladies. And I'm so excited about the, the um, under knee high length boots um, because they just work so well with uh, the winter collection. Rats. Yeah, so we've got, there are some new lengths of boots that you're referring to. Uh, uh, this boot wrap, so I'm going to call this a kind of a knee high or under the knee length boot. Uh, so that's the tell me boot that you just saw um, in the short on um, Renee. So that's the long leg version of it. And if you go back and have a look at our live earlier in the week, Lisa um, has got a pair of these and was showing us what it looks like with a dress. Um, so that just kind of hits underneath the knee. Uh, this boot wrap here is... I guess that's kind of, I'm going to call it mid-calf muscle height. Does that kind of make sense with you ladies? So it's kind of hitting the middle of your, middle to low part of your calf muscle at the back of your leg. So there's that height, um, there's that height. Then we've got the other height here, which you just tried, which Lisa just tried earlier, the little Jesse boot. Uh, one of you ladies wanted to see that on. So there's Jesse short, which is... Um, uh, so your ankle is about here, uh, your ankle bone's probably going to sit about here, so it's coming up, uh, up your leg a little bit, and then that's the, whoops, ladies, that is the long, so that's the same boot essentially, but a longer version, so that's the Jessie long, and that's going to hit just under the knee there, uh, so it should sculpt around your calf muscle and through the back, and then just pop back in again just underneath the, underneath the knee. Uh, there is one other length, um, which I'm going to show you. Uh, it's the Geordie boot. Oh, we're in, we're in a bit just, of a pickle, ladies. Yeah, here we go. Uh, just oh, actually, have a what look. about, what about Ooh, the Triptronic? What's going on? The trip here. Ooh. Oh, yeah, <laughs> too many things, girls. We're in such a mess. Uh, that's the Triptronic boot. So this is pretty much all I lived in last winter. I just found it the ultimate height with, um, you know, the wide leg pants or long dresses. Um, hides, you know, cankles and gives you that real straight sort of look in through your leg, kind of elongates your leg. Hey! Oh, I suppose who's bringing us ice buckets? <laughs> uh, and so the Geordie boot, I've got to do some mountaineering to get to it, but I will do it for you ladies. Um, Jeez. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to stand here. Yeah, just stand there. You'll just not make it over. <laughs> uh, so that is the Geordie boot. So um, that's the tan python. So it zips up and through the back. But you can see that your ankle boots probably, or your ankle bones probably going to hit about here, round around about this point here. Uh, so that's kind of going up to just below uh, your calf muscle starting, I think. Sort of kicks out just below your calf muscle. So that is also quite a good dress length. Like if you've got that long sort of maxi dress on these look quite delicious underneath that so i'm hoping we're answering your questions about the different leg heights i'm sure we've got one leg height that's going to work for you <laughs> um just lots of love thanks oh, ladies fabulous. hey look i hope you have a wonderful weekend this weekend i'm off to go and see an amazing artist wendy hannah i don't know if you've heard of her but she does this amazing lacquered art um, so one of my retailers, uh, Russie from Mischief Shoes, has invited me to accompany him, which will be super, super nice. I'm really looking forward to it. If you get a chance to check out the exhibition, it's down at the Viaduct. I think at Lightworks, I think, is the gallery that, that is hosting. Uh, anyway, ladies, have a great time, a great weekend, and we look forward to putting this all in order for you so you've got something to look at this weekend up here at the HQ and catching up with you again on Monday with some new reviews on bits and pieces. Alrighty, bye.